Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> it's, it's, it's Emma from the Smoothie Life. And today, first of all, I want to do the outfit of the day. Because I look hot today. I could have gotten it. So today, I have beautiful straight hair. sensation in our school, in our classroom. So my teacher is like right by this beehive and this tree outside and somehow bees, well wasps, were getting inside our classroom like they were getting through the screen and the window somehow. We have no idea how but um, anyways they had, there was like two yesterday and today somehow four bees got in our classroom and so one bee came in and I started flying around and this kid got up on this desk and took a planner and started like going like like trying to slap the planner at the bee while my teacher was outside. And um, she came in and she said, Wait, get down, get down, I get down. I appreciate your bravery for like getting up there, but like you can't do that. And so he got down and then one of the other teachers, because we have a special what do you call her? Danny. Oh, you have a um, student in her classroom that has an aide. Yes, and but she wasn't there today. The, the aide was there, but not the kid. Okay. And so she just like took the planner from the kid, and she was holding it like as the bee guard because Miss Allison is super afraid. Miss Allison's my teacher is super afraid of bees. Like she's deadly afraid of bees. And she was like, you know what, guys, at the end of all this, she's like, you know what, guys, if Miss um, Hassler wasn't here, I'd be out. I'd be in the office. And then, um, so anyways, she just stood there. And as Miss Allison called down someone from the office, so the janitors came, came down, and she, he took a mop. And she, he started, like, getting it up on the ceiling at the bee. And he, like, smushed it. He finally got it, and he took it off. And then we started buzzing around in like circles and it got really mad. And we were all like, oh no, it's mad. And my teacher was like running from it. It was so funny. She's so scared of him. And she's just like running across the classroom because it kept moving. And finally it landed on the window and then Miss Hassler, she swatted at it and then it died. And then another one just magically came in and everyone screamed and Miss Hassler killed that one too. And another round came in, and Miss Hassler killed that one too. And then finally, the last one came in, and the, the janitor, two janitors, had gone out, had gone outside with a huge truck with all these supplies in it, and sprayed stuff on it, and like put caulk around the edges, because that's what they thought where the bees were coming in. And a bee still got in, and it came in, and it started buzzing around the classroom. And they called another, they had to call the janitor down again, and. He killed the wasp with the mop again, but this time he like just scraped it on the ceiling and it came and then it died. And then my friends are in the next class after that, and they said that two more be two more wasps came in after they had all done all the ceiling and stuff. But I didn't get the story of that. So technically, there were six bees in our classroom today. Were they bees or wasps? Well, I mean wasps. I'm sorry, wasps. So this today was good. Pretty much, yeah. Well, we played soccer today, and we lost one to six. Maybe you're not the best soccer player ever. I'm good at running, though. Oh, yeah, you're very good at running. Did you take your inhaler before you ran? No, I didn't know we were running. Oh. But I couldn't breathe, so I was a goalie a lot. But I was good at the goalie. Apparently not if you lost by six well, points. Well, I was only the goalie. <laughs> <laughs> I was only the goalie once because we all had to switch off. Mm -hmm. But when I went, none of them, we did, they didn't score. Oh, good job. Thank you. 
Uh, me and this other girl are like really athletic in our class and we're like the only ones that like, ran a lot. And so we like kick it to each other a lot. She's the one. I kicked it to her. So someone accidentally kicked it. One of the people from the other team accidentally kicked it to me. And so I kicked it as hard as I could to her. And she was sitting right next to the goalie and she kicked it in. So that was your one point? Yeah. <laughs> but. We okay. Sucked bad. We sucked really bad. What do we say at the end of every video? I suck at soccer. <laughs> 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 okay, sorry. Uh, anyways. Don't forget to, oh wait, question of the day. Would you rather, and hang on a second. Hang on. Hurry up. Would you rather <laughs> eat, only be able to eat spaghetti for the rest of your life or mac and cheese for the rest of your life? Comment. Oh wait, why did I do that to myself? I don't know which one. Comment yeah. below. Don't forget to comment down below because we want to know the question of the day is would you rather eat spaghettios? I mean spaghetti for the rest of your life. I eat spaghettios for lunch. And or macaroni and cheese for the rest of your life. So don't forget to thumbs up this video, hit that red button, subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you can never miss that video. And you'll know when we make that thermic sign, mom, because we still forgot the stuff for it. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been we're a little gonna busy. do it. We swear we're gonna do it. So, um, what is your answer? My answer is probably well, if it's from um, Panera or Noodles and Company, then macaroni and cheese. But if it's just my mom's spaghetti, then spaghetti. I work for spaghetti. Surprise, surprise, right? I I, can't, I didn't answer that though. Panera, pan, Panera macaroni and cheese. <laughs> okay. So Bye. see you later. Mwah.